Good morning, everyone. Or actually, good afternoon. I normally do these in the morning. Welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. This is Wednesday, March 13th, 2024. And let's see how well this grid does for us. I've got 2-9 in the top three rows. So those twos will place a 2 in one of three spots in row 3. The 9 it will place it one of these two. And that's all I get. No, well, I can place a four in one of those two. In the middle of three rows, there's a six in those two spots in row four. Um, threes in one of these two spots in the same row because of those threes. And that's all I get. The bottom rows, here's some ones. So I can place it there, and that's, I think, all I get. 4, 7, 8, 6, otherwise, yep. Okay, these twos will force a 2 in one of those. Looking vertically. I uh, hear those 9s are going to force a 9 there. And these 1s are going to force a 1. One of those 2 specifically two, and these eights are going to force an eight, one of these, but not here, so that's an eight. Now, one of those is an eight. I think that's all I get. Okay, well, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six digits here. I still need a six, but this six rules out two of the three available spots in box two. This must be a six. And now one of these is six one of two spots and I think that's all I get let's see one and eight both look in to here but that's already taken care of seven looks in here but I don't have anything else looking into it two six and nine look in these cells the only thing that looks is six these aren't six, and these aren't six. One, two, three. I can't help with it. But that's a pair. Five, seven, which isn't resolved. I get no help otherwise. Let's see, this column can't be 5, 6, 7, 8, so these are 1, 2, 3, 4, 9 in some fashion. This is 2, 3, 4, it's not 1 or 9. This is 1 or 4, because it sees 2, 3 in the row and 9 on the box. This is 1 or 4, 2, 3, 9. This is 2, 3, 4, 9. I think that's any of them, right? Yeah, so aside from 9 being in one of these, we have nothing. Uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9 are seen by those two cells. So the, these are from 1, 7, 8, those two specifically, and that's not 8. Okay, that means 5 must be in one of these. This 5 and this virtual 5. Well, yeah, well, I could have seen those 5s there. I could have seen these 5s here a little bit sooner. This is not a 1, 5, 6 triple because of the presence of a possibility of a 1 in this cell at the bottom left of box 8. So, 2, 3, 4, 9. I need 1, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is 1, 7, and 8. This is 5 or 6 only. This is 1, 6, and 8, so that ends up as 5 or 7, but that doesn't interact with this 5, 7 pair. This one, because it can't be 8, it's 1, 5, 6, or 7. Now, it sees one of two spots for a 6, 3 for a 5, but this could still be 7, so I can't place a 7 in this column just yet. 
Uh, column 5, that is. Oh, these two 8s mean one of those is an 8. I did not see that sooner. Let's see. The middle columns are going to be of great help. 1, 5, 6, 8, 9 are placed in column 6. I need 2, 3, 4, and 7. This is 4 or 7 only, but that's any of them. This is 2 or 3. It can't be 4 or 7, and that's any of them. Well, did we just have a hidden 8 here? Yeah. This 8 rules these out. This 8 rules these out, and this 8 rules these out. So, yeah. This 8, and this 8, and this 8 all look in. That's an 8 at the center bottom of box 5. Now, this 8 and this 8 will force one of these to be an 8, and so... I may not necessarily, but I could have an X-Wing on 8s in rows 2 and 4. I've got 1, 4, and I've got 4, 7 here. I'm suspicious to see if I have those cells restricted in anywhere else in row 6. 2, 3, 6, 8. I need 1, 4, 5, 7, 9 for the rest of row 6. And there's your answer. It isn't. One crosses a region, unfortunately. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, this can't be two or three because of this. And two, three both were Lee's out, so... Where did two and three go in box five? These are the only two spots. But that's a hidden two, three pair. And as expected, this is a 147 triple, but I probably should have seen that a little bit sooner. What that also gives me is a 2 3 pair in the column. Okay, so this is now 4 7, and that's it. I've got 239 here, but not much else to go with it. 1239, I need 45678 for the rest of row 4. None of those cells can be 6. That's not 4. These are going to be from 4567, because none of them can be 8. So you end up with that configuration. Okay, this cell is quite restricted. It sees 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. This is strictly 2, 7, 9. Okay, I need 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. Well, it could be 4. It can't be 5, 6, or 7, but this could be 9. So that looks right. Let's see, this is not 3, 4, 1, 3, 4, 8, 9. Oh, neither of these are 6 or 7. It's two thirds of a two five nine, but I can't interact with anything else. Excuse me. Hmm. Okay, what about these two cells in row five? They can't be two, three, five, six, or eight. They're strictly from one four seven nine. That's not nine. That's not one. There 
there too. This is okay. Two is there. But that's a we knew that already. Scenario by this two and that virtual two three. Excuse me. Okay, one six eight are already you know one six seven eight are already placed. So I'm looking at two three four five nine as possibilities without considering rows. Since I was only looking at column and box for scanning this box nine here, these are not one four six or eight. Excuse me, so not two, not three, not nine. And this is not all that hopeful. Oh, those can't be nine, this can't be nine, so nine's definitely there. Did I just place a nine in box four? I think I did. Because I deduced this nine rules these out, this nine rules these out, that must be a nine. Yeah. Not, there's a crossing on nines looking into this box, so th that's a nine. This nine and this nine now means these must be nine. This nine means these cannot be nine. One of those two at the bottom of box six must be nine, excuse me. Okay, I've got nine there, I've got nine there. I don't have much else to go with it. Hmm. All right, this sees one, two, four, eight. So it could be six. Three, five, nine, but not seven by odd digits. These aren't one, two, four, nine. Or three, five, six, seven, eight, with that one not being six, and that one not being three. This isn't two, three, four, six, eight, nine, so this is five, seven along with one. Okay, these are, excuse me, <clears throat> two, three, eight, nine are taken. So one, four, five, six, seven are our possibilities. Clean that up and I get nothing useful out of it. Okay, these two are left is the only ones for possibilities in the top three rows. That's not three, four, and this sees seven by column, eight twice, and nine by row. Oh, six could be in three spots. That doesn't help me. All right, these cells are not one, two, three, four. Those cells aren't one, two, four, six, nine. Weird. That's three five eight, and that's three five seven. That's bizarre. Okay, these aren't one four nine. Excuse.
excuse me. Ugh. Uh, hmm. I may regret this. Um, not one, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm looking for really anything obvious. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, this can't be three because of this. These aren't three because of that. Most importantly, this isn't three, so those two must be three. Which means these cannot be three. Since that's a three, and this is a three, that forces one of these two specifically to be a three, but since that could still be eight, I don't quite have a three-eight pair. I almost have one. But I don't. If I could eliminate this cell from being an 8, I'd be in good shape. Missing something here. What am I missing? Nine's there, nothing else in the row where box is nine. Six is here. And that logic looks good. Yeah, there's got to be some weird configuration of digits here. Four still changes a... Yeah, four is claimed there, but not claimed here, because those could be four. All right, there's clearly something I'm missing. Because at this point, I appear to be very much stuck. Now, what, what on earth am I missing? There's something I'm not seeing. And if you guys want to help me when I get to this point, Help me figure out what crossings I'm otherwise missing. I don't see any pairs. I don't see any obvious triples. Yeah, the, these fours unfortunately cross a region, so even that doesn't help.
eight digits have I placed? Like one, two, three. I've only placed three digits to this point. This is embarrassing. Yeah, what on earth am I not seeing? Nines are there. Yeah, there. I mean, the only thing I could think of, well, I can't claim that this is an X, these are an X wing on nines in there, because that doesn't eliminate anything else from nine, does it? And the problem is, any of those could be a nine, so I can't claim, say, these are nines or these are nines, and then forcing an X wing on nines because that's also bad logic. Yeah, I mean, these are nines, these are nines. Thing is, can I say anything about any of those nines? I don't know that I can. Specifically. Yeah, there's something I'm not seeing, but for the life of me, I cannot figure out what it is. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. I have to start looking by box or digit or something. I mean, there's too many possibilities here, but I don't see anything obvious by the row. Three's already there. But this can't be nine because of that. These two aren't nine because of this one and that one, which I placed. So nine must go in one of these. That means this is not nine. And by extension, those can't be either. Now, if one of these is a nine, well, that ends up in a weird spot. Let me, is there a way I can mark it? One, two, three, four. That's an X wing on nines in column seven and nine, so they're going to end up on the diagonals one way or the other.
and uh, since a nine must go here or here, if this is nine, that one can't be, and if this is nine, then that one isn't. That still doesn't tell me anything about what must be something or another. I mean, four still crosses a region. There. And I know on the left I got way too much. Six is on one of these. Still. Four still crosses something. Yeah, but wait a minute. These nines claim means those weren't nine, so where does nine go in row seven? They can't go here or here because this nine rules that out. These nines rule this out. These can't be nines because of those two. This can't be nine now because we put those in. I, I feel like those two nines are a big breakthrough. I'll mark that. And so what that means is 907 must go here. Unfortunately, I don't think it helps me with anything else, does it? Not really, other than we now have an X-Wing on nines in these dark red and blue cells, along with an X-Wing on nines there. nothing else to go with that. I don't, I'm not proud of the fact it took me 10 minutes to come up with the fact that this was a 9. I don't even have a 2, 3, 4 triple there because there's a 1 here. Yeah, I'm still almost as stuck. I mean, nines in column seven are still stuck in one of two spots. I... Oh, and I can't say definitively that that's not seven, but even if that was restricted to one, five, or six, I can't convert those to center marks yet. Excuse me. Hmm. Are there any other oddball digits? Three's not claimed. Even four isn't. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, this can't be one because of that. These can't be one because of that. Where does one go in column one? It must go here. In these two cells. So, crucially, that's not one. That means one of these is a one. helps with absolutely nothing else. Hmm. There's 
still something else I'm not seeing. And the only fours I've got are not on the same region either. Oh, and the fact that 4 must go here, which means this isn't 4. And therefore, these aren't 4. It still leaves 4 there, doesn't it? Six is there, two is there, uh, nine is here, but we don't know anything else, do we? Excuse me. Okay, if that's the case, then 4 must go here, and that's another pointing, isn't it? So if 4 must go here, that means this is not 4. Ah, well, that was a long way. I think maybe we finally have a breakthrough now. It took me forever to see that these 4s meant those couldn't be 4, and then... Therefore, those must be four, and these nines effectively took nine out of everything else out, which forced that one to be a nine. But what I can say now, I think, this virtual four and that four force a four down here in one of this cell or this cell. This obviously can't be four, so that one is forced to be a four, and now that's seven. That's five, and I can't type six. That sees everything but one. Okay, this sees one and four, so this and this is a two, three, which makes that four. This four comes in. That's going to solve the one, four, seven triple in the box. This is not seven. That's down to one or four. Seven makes this two. That four. This is now a one. So that isn't. Five, seven, nine. That's left as a triple. Four means this can't be. Not two. And not two. Oh. This also can't be five. So that's a nine. Five is here. This is not five. So I've got two threes and two threes interacting, but this two three in row seven means these aren't three, and that's not two. And this can't be six because of the six in the row looking left, so that's now a five eight pair. So this can't be five by pair logic or nine by row logic. That's seven. Now this is two three. This sees 7 and 5 in its row, so 3, 2, and that's going to sort out, I think, all my two threes, isn't it? This 3 comes over, 2, 3. Oh, this 3 looks up, that's not 3, and so 3 is placed in box 3. Okay, this is left as 6, 7. This obviously isn't 3. That's 
not 7 because 7 looks up. 7 looks down. And that can't be a 5. 3 makes that 2. This is 6. These aren't 6. Uh, that's forced to be a 3. So that isn't. See, those aren't seven. Oh, for cute. Now what? Five here, eight here, six is here. Ah, one five pair makes that seven. That's what I was waiting on. Seven five. These aren't five. Okay, two must go here. In the bottom left of box three. The six makes this nine. Excuse me. <clears throat> there has to be a hidden digit now. I've got four, five, seven, eight interacting here and here. But every single one of those digits crosses a region. Six doesn't here. Now what am I missing? Four can't be there. Four is here, but it's there, and I have nothing else to go with it. That's a triple. That's a triple. tempted to say, but I don't think I can. Mm. This cell is a six. This cell is the only one that satisfies one of these two and one of these two, both being a six. Prove it by contradiction, but let me try something. I'm gonna I'm gonna argue for the sake of argument. That must be six. Seven, five, nine, six, one, five, nine. That's seven. That's five. So this is eight. That's a five. This is four, and I now have nothing to put in here. Okay. So I think I've proven this cell cannot be 6. But I had to use contradiction to do it. So if I'm claiming that's 7, now how do I know that that's 7? 7 could be in one of these two. in here, and nine's in here. Seven could be in three spots. That's irritating. I think we just went with that seven. Six, nine, seven, five, yeah, five, nine, five, six, one, that's a five, eight, six, Grief one eight five eight seven four there we go seven four five and that was ugly. 
I'm not happy that I had to prove this by contradiction. Coming down to saying this cell was either 6 or 7, and my instincts were that since 6 was in that three spots, this was the only one that satisfied one of these and one of these. But that didn't work. And it took me forever to spot the claiming like nines here, and then fours there, which forced this to be a nine. Well, I did it, and that's what counts. Let me know how I could do better in the comments. And thank you for joining me this afternoon.